Hi guys, welcome back to AJS Paintings. Um, today I'm going to do another Dutch pour. Um, this is kind of like an ex like an experiment for me. Um, I don't know if you've seen my last couple of videos. I've talked about uh, the Artist Loft Flow acrylic uh, white paint that I got. Um, so I'm going to show you. So this is the one that I bought in uh, December and this is the one that I just bought like a couple of weeks ago. They're exactly the same. They don't have ingredients on them so I can't really tell what, if there's a difference. But this one um, is completely different how it works or how it shows than this one. Um, this one is... Uh, I don't know how to explain this. Um, so I'll give you an example of what I mean by how different it is. So you see this painting here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, you, if you've seen other videos, you might have seen it before. So you see how uh, the white shows up in like small speckles here and there because I swiped over it. Um, I did the exact same technique with this painting. And you see the difference, how the white is. Um, for once, like, yeah, it looks nice for this painting. Um, I like the effect, what's going on, but I don't want this in all my paintings, in all my techniques, and this is what the white has been doing. Um, I tried it with different techniques, and it just eats all the color up, and all the white the big cells just pop up. Um, I want to sh show this like at some points in the painting, but not on all my paintings. Um, so the white has been giving that trouble. I've used it uh, a couple different um, paintings I made. So um, now I was like, okay, I have all these, uh, you know, these bottles of paint that I need to use. So how do I do it in a way that uh, wouldn't, you know, eat up all the color? Um, so I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, what I did was I used the same white and I mixed it up with the, uh, this one, which is Vermilion by Artist Loft. Um, so it's mixed the same way, uh, uh, Floetrol and water, um, same uh, consistency how I mix all my paints. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see properly. Um, so I was thinking, the, the thinking behind was that if it has the same ingredient that is in the white, it might, you know, show up a little bit more and it might, you know, hold the white back a bit. Uh, so let's see what happens. This one, um, same thing. I added a little bit of uh, uh, gold, uh, which is old gold by Artist Loft. And also I added a little bit of deco art um, gold. Which one was that? Hold on, let me just show you. So this is the one that I used. This is Champagne Gold uh, by Deco Art. Um, I just added a little bit of that in there. Um, and then this is also, um, so I mixed some, um, what was it? Neon, pink, and blue. And I kind of make, uh, made a, a turquoise. Um, and then I added that to this white again. So let's see, uh, also I have these other paints. This is also a turquoise mixed, um, but this one doesn't have this white. I'm also going to use the old gold. Um, and yeah, so that's it. So we'll see how the, the colors are going to work. Let me just adjust my light. Um, if they're gonna show up or not, um, we'll see. So I'm going to, add the white on the background so what I'm trying to see is if the all those white cells are still gonna pop up and eat all the color or I'm gonna be able to see some of the oops, something on this canvas if I'm gonna be able to see some of those colors so let's see I have so much of this paint and I don't want to like use it on uh, tree swipes and other paintings because I'm not looking for this effect uh, on that on those paintings so um, let's see if it works this way then I will you know just add up I've seen uh, on on my Facebook groups uh, 
of uh, you know pouring where people are sharing their videos and people are sharing their paintings and experiences um, I've seen a lot of other posts where uh, people are asking like if they're doing something wrong or is like what's going on especially if, if you're new and you're just you know starting and this is what's happening to you you think that you are doing something wrong it's not it's just this I don't know what what's up with this batch of paint it's just batch is just weird um, so but since we have it we might as well you know come up come up with something and use it to our, for our advantage if it works <laughs> if it doesn't work then I'll go and check something else because I don't want to you know just throw all that paint out so I'm just putting a thin layer of this white uh, the background and then I'm going to put on those colors and just blow it up to see what will happen with different swipes I've noticed like the the white still pops up I I have t like tested it so many different ways I added more floral I added more water I added more paint um, I kept trying with different ways but it still pops up and since I had the old white I was testing with both of them and I know that this is the white that's causing that because the other white was perfectly fine okay so let's pop all the bubbles first someone said that they might have added the titanium back uh, it was originally part of the formula and then they took it out and now they might have added it back but there's no way to tell for me because there are no ingredients on the bottle a lot of bubbles in here And I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put like just a, a line or two, I'm just gonna put a lot of paint to see what will happen. So I'm thinking, you know, yeah, something like this. So this is normal, this one doesn't have um, white in it. So I'm putting quite a lot, putting quite a lot of this. And let's go ahead with the light one, the light turquoise. It's, this one does have the white in it. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this gold, old gold by Artist Loft. Again, I'm putting a lot of paint on. I want to see if the, these two colors that don't have the white in, if they will show up more than the other ones. This one has gold in it. Still, it has the white too. Okay, and now this one which has vermilion and white. That's a lot of paint. I usually don't put that much paint on for Dutch pores, but I really wanted to see what will happen. Let's pop all the bubbles. Okay, I don't see any white there, so maybe I should put a little bit more in there. There. Okay, 
maybe more than I needed, but oh well. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna try with the on a low speed and see if it's gonna move. It's not, then I'll do the high speed. So usually I'm all about the negative space but with this one I didn't want to have too much negative space because I really want to see what will happen um, let's see if any of those so see I, I can already see the white popping up um, so what usually happens with this white that what I've noticed that it will start popping up like that and then these cells become so big that they just take over everything I don't see much in here, um, a little bit in here, but let's wait and see what will happen. So I'm going to keep the camera on um, for at least next five minutes or so, but um, I'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to sit here and wait like me, um, but I will show you uh, if anything does develop to see. So this is what I have a problem with I don't mind those big cells but if they're just white if they bring in other color with them yes for sure but if it's just white and just shows up like in here um, I don't know if you can see in here I can see some blue uh, turquoise like light turquoise it's a little bit of that peachy color uh, of the cells yeah that looks nice in here too also in here very nice but this you see these this big white ones and they're gonna get huge that's what I don't like because it just ruins the whole composition so anyways um, I'm gonna keep this on for you okay so um, I have waited for some time and as you can see the cells have gone bigger but not as big as they usually do with this so I would say that it worked the white being in those paints mixed together it's it's holding it back so that's a good thing I mean it's showing up the white cells are getting bigger but not as big or as huge as they normally are so that's a good thing I really like the you know the very light feel of this painting um, even though it's <laughs> it's really hard for me to, uh, you know, don't have those white negative spaces. I have just a couple in here and here. Um, and I don't think that composition is working that much. So I might fiddle with it a little bit more to uh, add some color. But I really like how it looks. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, 
yeah i will bring you down and i'll show you the close-up of how it looks i really like the gold gold looks really nice and also the the dark light and dark of the colors really really nice some areas that uh, have gone a little bit more lighter than i would like but i still like i love what's happening in here all the cells that are popping up the nice ones so that's a good thing yeah so i might embellish this afterwards um once it's dry, I might add, you know, take some acrylic pens and just add s some definitions here and there. But so far, I like it. it. It's good. It's very different than what I usually do. Um, but I like it. Yeah, so I will bring you down and I'll show you the close-up. Okay, so the composition is not working for me so i'm just gonna go add it and add some more paint and see what i can do with it so let's see what happens yeah I didn't stop on that I really wanted to see what will happen if I added just these colors that don't have any of that white in it if the white is gonna come back and take it over so let's see I see a lot of cells popping in here I hope they don't take over because see this white in here I think it will take over I love that orange in the middle it's beautiful. Let's see what happens now. I wish this was a little bit more out. I don't know if I want to touch it now though. Maybe a little bit. That's so cool but you see when I put that those colors in and that pushed away the ones that had white mixed in the white is taking over yep to so see how these are developing they are actually going to take over and we won't see any color in here anymore but in the middle it's it's still holding on so that's good and here's too I see a lot of those blues blue cells 
so that's also good and I like the background even though it doesn't really make sense if this is a flower what is that but it still looks good I like it and I like the white in here and a little bit in here now it's making more sense than it did before I still don't like that one as much as the other petals but it's still better than before it's a little bit bigger I don't want to touch it even though I want to touch it <laughs> you see this is what I'm talking about but in here it it's working it looks good because it's not everywhere but if it is everywhere that's where the problem comes in so I think I might have found a hack for this if we don't want it to take over the painting just mix it with white and that holds it back like in here it's holding it back this part since I just added those paints that did not have white added to them it's taking over but that's good it's still I'm happy with the with what I was trying to figure out okay this time <laughs> I am going to call it and I'm gonna show you the close-up and actually I like it now much more than I did before I love the center of this painting okay all right once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do subscribe if you're new and if you already did, thank you so much. Uh, please leave me a like, a comment and share. Uh, it really helps me a lot. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.